guys, it's John here. Welcome back to Pico Cosmos. Today we'll be doing an unboxing and review of a highly requested vintage sea monkey tank, the Big Show Projector. This tank has a unique feature that transports your sea monkeys outside of their tank, so I'm super excited to test it out for today's video. Make sure to stick around to the end too to find out how you can win a Sea Monkeys Ocean treasure tank that I'll be giving away to one of my subscribers. The Sea Monkeys Big Show projector was produced by Big Time Toys in 2011. This kit is marketed using a theatrical theme, and that's because the tank has a built-in light, which when turned on, will project the shadows of your swimming sea monkeys onto a wall behind them, creating a live show. The tank itself never changed throughout the time of its production, but there were two slight packaging variations. The first one I have with me here. Up top it says, The Amazing Live Sea Monkeys Big Show Projector. Coming down is a large cutout showing the tank and a clear display of all the accessories. In the bottom right hand corner, you'll notice that it mentions that this kit was sold exclusively at Toys R Us stores. And that's because, at the time it was quite a common strategy for manufacturers to lock in a big retail client by offering them a product that could be sold exclusively at their stores for a year or so. It's a smart tactic and one I'm sure paid off. After this exclusivity deal ended, the box received an update and refresh. This time the Toys R Us logo was replaced with the words, Create Instant Life right before your eyes. And the spotlight behind the dancing sea monkeys was changed from lime green to white. Flipping over to the back and we get an overview of what's in this kit and a huge illustration of some sea monkeys performing at the theatre. This is what I love about these large boxes. They have more space to add some fun onto the packaging. Something interesting to note is the big show tank shown in the bottom right corner here. I'm unsure whether this is an illustration or a photo of a prototype, but either way, its shape is a lot more square looking than the design they decided to end up going with. The updated version of the packaging changed this to a photo of the final tank, which is more oval in shape. It's really interesting to see how much packaging has changed over the last decade. There used to be an emphasis on making these boxes really large to give the impression of them coming with a lot of different accessories and features to keep you entertained. Nowadays, the packaging has shrunk down considerably to reduce space on retail shelving and to keep shipping costs down. It's a bit unfortunate, but I guess you've got to play ball if you want to stay competitive. First up we have this small cardboard cutout which was inside the tank that has two dancing sea monkeys on it. It's just for the packaging really and doesn't serve any other purpose once it's open. Next up we have three pieces of paperwork. The first is a generic information and instruction sheet which was included in all big time toy sea monkey kits at the time. There's also a battery installation sheet which tells you how to put fresh AAA batteries into the base which I've just gone ahead and done. The last instruction sheet in here is really cool. It has personalised illustrations showing you how to set up the Big Show tank and how to use its built-in projector. It's very similar to a more generic version which was widely circulated at the time. As always there's also packets number 1, 2 and 3 and the old style double ended yellow feeding spoon included in here too. The packets feel like they're in surprisingly good condition for their age. It's unlikely that the 12 year old eggs in here will hatch but I'll still give it a try. As is quite standard with these larger sea monkey sets, there's a purple aqualish pipette in here. This is a versatile tool that's great for both aerating the tank and also picking up sea monkeys to move them around, so it's always good to see when it's included. A rather unusual addition to this kit is this handheld magnifier. It's included because the tank doesn't have any magnifying bubbles built into it like we typically see with most other sea monkey tanks such as the Ocean Zoo and Ocean Volcano. I'm not personally a big fan of those magnifying bubbles, so I much prefer the approach of including this tool instead. And here's the tank itself. It's a simple ovular cup shape that sits atop a pedestal, which looks like the grand entrance and ticket box to a theatre. The tank is more narrow than a traditional ocean zoo, which I really like. The base here says, The Amazing Live Sea Monkeys, with some illustrations that look like movie posters. I noticed something very interesting with this image in the middle. It's a sea monkey rendition of Uma Thurman in Pulp Fiction called Trouble is a Sea Monkey, illustrated by Rod Philbrandt. I reached out to Rod to ask him about this, and he told me that Big Time Toys put this image on the Big Show tank without his knowledge, so seeing it on there when this tank came out was a bit of a surprise for him. The tank's lid at the top is made to look like a red theatre curtain, which is a smart way to tie in the theme to this tank. It has a bunch of small air holes to help with air circulation, which is a welcome addition. 
Interestingly, the tank here separates from the base quite easily. I'm guessing this is so you can access the battery compartment to change the batteries at the bottom if needed, or if you just want to use the tank without the base if that's your preference. You'll notice that inside the base here is a small light for the Sea Monkey Shadow Projection Show. You can turn the light on and off with this small wheel that sits at the bottom of the base. We'll test this out properly once we have adult sea monkeys in here to perform for us. Overall, the tank gives a good first impression, at least from a novelty perspective. Let's get it set up. First up, I'll pour in 300ml of bottled distilled water. There's a handy fill line on the left hand side of the tank to help make this step easy. Next up, I need to add in packet number 1, the water purifier, and also packet number 2, the instant live sea monkey eggs. My advice with this step is that if you're using bottled distilled or spring water, it's fine to put both of these packets in at the same time. But if you're using tap water, I'd recommend waiting 24 hours in between adding in these two packets. The included aqua leash is a really great tool for mixing up the water to dissolve all of these salt crystals. So pumping it for 10 seconds or so should do the trick. I always recommend keeping sea monkey tanks on a shaded windowsill that doesn't receive any direct sunlight. So I'm going to keep this tank here for the next month or two while my new sea monkey colony grows. It's ideal for the water temperature to sit around a stable 26 degrees Celsius or 79 degrees Fahrenheit. So for this tank, I'm going to use my favourite heating option, the mini USB aquarium heater. It has a built-in thermostat that automatically regulates the temperature, so I don't have to worry about the tank overheating. I always like to use USB air pumps with my sea monkey tanks too. They provide plenty of oxygen for the growing sea monkeys and also keep the water constantly moving, which helps the babies easily access food to eat and it also prevents bacterial overgrowth, so it's a win-win-win. Lastly, I'll use some purple grow lights to help promote the growth of a healthy green microalgae colony in the tank. Guys, I can't stress enough how important this is for your sea monkey tanks. It's literally the best thing you can do if you want your sea monkeys to survive long term, so make sure you're using some kind of light source. That's all for the setup today, now I just have to wait for the sea monkeys to hatch and grow. I'll check back in with you guys in a month or two to give you an update on how they're doing and also so we can finally see the Big Show projector in action. Hey guys, it's been a whopping 3 months since that initial tank setup, and the Big Show is now full of performing sea monkeys. I left this tank for around a week waiting for those old eggs to hatch, but I never saw any movement. So I decided to restart the tank with a fresh sea monkey starter kit instead, and thankfully I had a decent hatch rate from that lot. I have around 20 adults in the tank now, and there are even second and third generation sea monkeys in there too. I've had this tank sitting around for quite a while, which is why there's so much algae, so I figured it was probably about time for an update. You might have also noticed that there's a couple small snails in here as well. I'll tell you more about them later. I've really enjoyed my experience with the Big Show tank over these last few months, and for a number of reasons, I found that it's quite different from any of the other sea monkey tanks I've reviewed on this channel in the past. But before I give you my final review, we need to test out the projector night show. The tank's internal projector light is quite small and not particularly bright, so to see its effect at full strength, it helps to use it in a dark room. The idea is to project the shadows of the swimming sea monkeys onto a surface behind the tank. Something interesting I discovered is that TransScience actually used to sell these little cardboard projector screens for these night shows. There have been a few different designs over the years, but this white one I have here was the most common. It has a nautical theme and a small sea monkey audience to watch the show with you. It's the little touches like this that has made sea monkeys such a special brand over the years. It's equally ridiculous as it is wholesome. Alright, let's set it up and enjoy the sea show. I found that you need to keep the display screen quite close to the tank for it to work well, otherwise the shadow projection is too large to really see the sea monkeys properly. This was surprisingly cool to watch and relaxing too. The shadows really do give the impression of the sea monkeys dancing around the tank. The sea monkeys big show kit has been fun to use for these last few months. The design is interesting and I think the lid and base do a really great job of tying in the theatre theme. I appreciate the narrow tank design and its lack of magnifying bubbles on the tank walls too. It makes viewing the sea monkeys really enjoyable. It would have been nice for the lid to have a couple notches to accommodate the use of an airline or heater, though these things aren't ever taken into account with sea monkey tank designs. I'm a little on the fence when it comes to the base. It provides a nice stable platform for the tank to sit on so it can't be easily knocked over, but the top of the base also obscures the bottom of the tank, which is definitely a little annoying. You can just turn it around, 
but it looks a little funny when viewing the tank from the back. Another option is to just forego using the base all together, but then it's a little unstable and kind of feels like you're just keeping your sea monkeys in a plastic cup. I decided to keep the tank on its base and view it from the front, as it's intended to be used. The night show projector is fun to try out, but it's not all that effective because of how dim the light is. It could be nice to have on a bedside table to use as a night light though. The only real problem here being the batteries which would need changing regularly. I'd prefer to see this idea implemented with a small power cable instead so you could leave it on for as long as you like without worrying about the power running out. Overall I've really enjoyed using the Big Show projector kit. Each of the different novelty Sea Monkey tank designs comes with their own unique quirks and idiosyncrasies, some of which I like and others I don't. But that's what makes these tanks so fun to play around with. This one isn't the most practical tank, but that's not what it's designed for. It's made for an extra bit of added fun and a new way to experience your sea monkeys, which it does perfectly. Oh yeah, and about those two snails I mentioned earlier, I've been wondering for a little while about what kind of tank mates could work with sea monkeys, and there are two options I came up with. The first is Moina Selena, a marine species of Daphnia. The only problem is that even after a lot of searching online, I haven't been able to find anywhere to buy the eggs from, so I have to put this idea on the shelf for now. The other option I came up with was a marine snail. Here in New Zealand we have a small species that is easily found in tidal rock pools called Z. cumantis subcarinatus, more commonly known as southern creeper snails. They grow to a maximum size of 16mm or two thirds of an inch, so I figured they'd be perfect for sea monkey tanks. I picked these two up from a local rock pool a little over a month ago, and so far so good. Let me know if you want a more in-depth video on sea monkey tank mates in the future. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I'll be giving away a Sea Monkeys Ocean Treasure Kit. If you'd like to enter the draw for the giveaway, simply leave a comment on this video telling me your thoughts about the Big Show Tank, and I'll pick a random winner in one month from now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.